so what we're doing is we got the um we have a nickel brush half inch schluter and we have subway tiles going on the walls right and uh it's looking really good so what i'm trying to get at is the size of the schluter is uh too big we should have been using three eighths but three three eighths is too small to the owner he wants to see more of the nickel brush all right so in order to uh make it work we framed out the schluter all the way around <laughs> half inch and given that these are subway tiles the thickness of them it's about three eighths and if you notice with, with the three eighths uh trowel on the wall um it seems to be pretty flush but there's no there's no uh we're not applying any pressure as you see and it's already flush as it is so when it's more thin set so what we did we went ahead and put the half inch uh shooter up first then we used the three eighths trowel we went ahead and put the thin set in a vertical uh direction from all, all the way the whole wall from the bottom up and after that what we're doing is each tile individually we're putting the um, the thin set mortar uh, horizontally. So we have the thin set right here. We have it horizontal. We're gonna push it in there, and we're gonna show you how how it interlocks with the top. Bam. So as you can see, it interlocks. It gives you a full spread, and that's it, guys. That's how we uh, meet up flush these um, these subway tiles. That's how we make the meet up flush and there's no dips. I mean, there's obviously dips on the drywall itself, but because of the um, amount of thin set that's in there, we're able to keep it flat on the surface. And that's very important because if you have dips on the wall, given that it's a uh, subway tiles or basically brick patterns and you got stop points right here, this is, this is not a stop point, I'm going in there. So if, if you got a lot of dips right here. See, if, if this was flat, it goes right above. It's, it's, all these tiles are nice and flat all the way across. There's no dips going in there. And that's, uh, like I said, that's thanks to the fact that we have enough uh, enough thin set mortar behind them. So, yep, that's it, guys. If y'all if y'all doing shooter and it's bigger than the tile, figure out your measurements. Find the right notch trial to go ahead and spread the back wall with the shooter uh, already in place. And then go ahead and, and uh, apply thin set individually in every tile um, and go ahead and press them in and you get and you get that perfect flush uh, that you're looking for on the corners and you get the perfect amount of thin set. There's no hollow spots on these walls. These walls are going to last a while. So that's a good thing. So that's it. Just wanted to point that out. Thanks for watching. It's just a quick video for y'all. Don't forget to subscribe and uh, we'll see you on the next video. Thanks.